situate anything on the wall here. Because you, you say, you know, what is it? And what do I have to achieve? And what are the materials? And what is the history? And all of those things. So we actually ask all those questions, but we end up getting different answers and we have to use different skills to uh, bring everything to fruition. I mean, it's basically as simple as that. Now, the more you know, the more you don't know. Uh, uh, I think that I've said many times that it takes 30 seconds to decide on what you're going to do. When the, when the client comes in and you look at the thing and you say, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do do with that because there are certain things you recognize um, however as you get to know more you get more knowledge and in that 30 seconds you're going to recognize more about the thing if someone brings in a photograph when you start it's just a photograph and then all of a sudden it becomes Ah, uh, well, we always know if it's a black and white or a colour photo, but you know, um, is it hand coloured or is it natural colour? Is it a, an ambrotype or a daguerreotype or an apellotype? Is it uh, silver gelatin? And this is the difficult one now that I have to sort of work out in my own mind is it one of those bloody things that are print on, printed on a digital thing? <laughs> you know, because you're going to have to treat them all differently. So, you know, but as you go on, you just get more and more knowledge. And people come in, and, um, and this is after 40 years, and they'll say, and they'll bring this photo, and you can actually see, well, not so much here, but when I was in Temple State, they'll be walking up the, the footpath, and you could see the back of the thing, and you'd say, oh, that looks like a 1920s photo. And when you looked at the front, sure enough, it was 1920s. Yeah. simply because of the shape and the border was on. So, I mean, you just get more and more knowledge and in that 30 seconds, you it just becomes much easier. However, at the same time, you have to realise that there are lots of things you don't know. And I think the longer you go, the more you realise that you don't know. Yeah, I mean, this is... I mean. People get a bit gung ho and they say, Oh, you know, I know everything. And yet, I was talking to Alan the other day uh, on the phone about. Um, I, I have a, a thing called. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've developed pr a protocol and for working out the, the way I treat things. And one is for the period and so on is time, place and personality. You know, what's the period? What's the place? You know, I mean, Rembrandt paints differently to Rubens and they're only 20 years apart. Um, Rembrandt is in Holland, um, Protestant Calvinist Holland. Uh, Rubens is in Catholic uh, Flanders. Uh, you have a totally different religious thing. And with the Rembrandt, you look into the image, right? And I mean, you read stories about the Dutch leave their windows open and mm. so yeah. on, and you look into the houses. And yet with Rembrandt, he's right in your face, and the frames are in your face. I mean, you tend to have your black uh, fruit wood and ebony frames and so on that you're looking into. Whereas the over-the-top Rembrandt has got these exuberant frames that are coming out the front. And you look at something and you say, right, it's Oriental, it's Chinese. So you, you, you'll immediately evoke an image of lacquers and things like that. So, and then um, personality, uh, which of course, you know, all these things cross over, I mean, you tend to sort of look at it and you say, well, this is, uh, you know, Van Gogh is totally different to um, Michelangelo, right? And you look at Michelangelo, you look at the colours, 
and you look at the gay movement, and you say, God, Michelangelo's gay. And he was. I mean, you can look at that, right? There are just certain things that say, you know, tell you about the person. Um, I suppose one of the other things we have to look at, and this is an initial thing, is, is it art or is it craft? Now, uh, an icon is generally craft. It becomes a tool. It's like a phone call to God. And um, if we look at, um, I suppose, with the advent of humanism, you're going to find that with uh, 